My name is Nadia, and I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going to have to get undressed in front of you. Um, but before I start, I wanted to ask a question. How many of you had a satisfactory poop this morning? By a show of hands. <laughs> Not that many. Those of you who didn't raise a hand, I'm on 100 million Americans who don't have regular bowel movements. And it is actually turning into a big problem. Slowly but surely, we're turning into a constipated nation. <laughs> Anywhere between 30 to 70% of the Americans don't go to the bathroom on a daily basis. If you were to ask a Western doctor, they would probably tell you that going to the bathroom twice a week is quite normal. But if you go to a holistic doctor, they'll tell you that digestion is a cornerstone of health and you have to empty out your pipes every single day to maintain good health. If you look around to animals or even your pets or your dog, you'll know that not one healthy dog goes to the bathroom only twice a week. They go three times a day. So if you don't clean out your digestion, what you get is a whole bag of toxins fermenting in your body and absorbing into the bloodstream. And slowly but surely, it will lead to disease. It can start with bloating and just feeling heavy, but over time, it leads to bad breath, bad body odor, um, allergies, poor sleep, fatigue, you name it. According to Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine, almost every single disease can be traced back to the digestion. The good thing is that we have all the tools to fix our digestion with a few small dietary changes and a few tools and practices that physically help to move things along. And I'm going to show you one of those amazing practices today. This practice is thousands of years old. It was first mentioned in Vedic texts, including Hatha Yoga Pradipika, and it was one of the six cleansing rituals for yogis. So to show that to you, I'm going to have to get undressed. It helps to improve circulation in your tummy and to physically move things along by creating almost a vacuum-like suction. So I'm going to walk you through the whole thing step by step. It is best if you do it on an empty stomach. And if you want to improve the effects, it's good to drink a cup of water with lemon, wa um, with lemon to just stimulate peristaltis. But you start with your palms on your thighs. And this move, everyone can do. You don't need any practice. So the first thing you wake up in the morning tomorrow, do it. You take an inhale, exhale all the air out, hold the breath, and you start pumping the stomach like this. So even this simple move will already create heat and stimulate circulation. The second move is a little bit tricky because you have to kind of shift your weight from side to side, and that's the way it looks. <laughs> so you actually get moving things along quite well. It's very, very effective. And everyone that I've taught it to gets it within the first couple of weeks. So it's not that difficult. And besides being an amazing party trick, you'll be the center of attention anywhere you go. <laughs> Promise you that. <laughs> it got me here. <laughs> <laughs> but it also is an instrument that allows you to keep your body in a healthy state. And since the digestion is a cornerstone of health, it is super important to learn techniques not to rely on pills, but to let your body heal and balance itself by using something like Naoli. Thank you.